The idea of the opera is based on a short story by Thomas Hardy called An Imaginative Woman, a woman who has an imagination that seems to run away from her. Essentially, Ella develops a passion, a secret and an unachievable love affair with a poet whose poetry she has fallen in love with, but she never meets the man himself. She imagines having this affair uh, because her real life is unfulfilled. She's in a rather stale partnership. The opera itself is set in a holiday home, a home by the edge of the sea, the edge of the world, if you like, where Ella and her husband Stephen have decided to take a short break. Stephen, nevertheless, of course, is not taking a break. He's on the phone all the time. He's on his computer, shooting off to London on quick trains to have meetings, to get his deal finally over and done with. It suggests that what we need to have is an abstract landscape in which we understand that this isn't a real room or a real house or a real home, but this is the place that Ella is imagining. I've long admired and listened to the music of Hugh Watkins. His uh, technical skill is formidable. His ear is absolutely perfect and precise. This isn't music that's aggressive and confronts an audience. This is music that draws you in. Both David and Hugh didn't want to just set a Thomas Hardy piece. They wanted to take what the, the heart of the piece and bring it into a new life, bring it into modern times, make it understandable and exciting for a modern audience. I'm hoping that uh, In the Locked Room will evoke a variety of emotions, but leave the audience in a thoughtful place.